What's up? This is Kyle McGrath coming back at you with a recap from round four featuring the Limelights and the Nimble Jacks. The Lights started the season 0-3 and were looking for their first victory. And the Nimble Jacks were looking to lock up the number one seed in the Captain's Cup and move to 4-0. The Jacks opened up the game, winning the prime rush and getting on the board early with a quick score from Ryan Coyne. The South Ball took the pass from Sean Stevens and buried it home for three from the flex. Early in the first, Jack captain Scott Kennedy went down with a rib injury and would not return to the contest. With their captain and leading scorer out, the Jacks looked for someone to step up. Jared O'Donnell was that man. He torched the lights in the first, scoring 15 points all from the flex and came into the game as the second leading scorer and kept that title. John Nagito led the lights in the first with nine points and captain Trevor Lyman snuck a six point ring shot by Jared O'Donnell. Ben Hutchinson also had a good period scoring 14 points and finishing it off with a dunk in the goal zone, putting an exclamation point on a blowout first period. At the end of the first, the Jacks led 44 to 21. To kick off the second period, the Limelight's Wedgebacks knew they needed to step up. Free agent Mike Izzo recorded five saves in the period and ten on the day, leading his team on his first game as a Limelight. Ryan Coyne added to his total, dropping eight in the period to give him 14 through two, and Nick Caton entered the game in the middle of the second frame and took over. He scored 12 points in the period. The Jack's defense held firm, racking up 12 saves in the period and holding the Limelight's only 14 points. The Jacks were up 43 after two, but it would only get worse. Rabbit 78, Lights 35. Ryan Gearhart started off the third period with three from the flex, scoring 10 in the period, and on the day he hit a season and career high with 15 points. Sean Kennedy led the Jacks again with 12 saves in the day, staking his claim as a number one goalie in the league, and Coyne finished with 19 on the game after five in this period. But Nick Caton stole the show again in the third, taking a beautiful pass from Matt Kump and converting for three, scoring a team-high 16 points in the period and 28 in the game. The Jacks embarrassed the Lights, holding them to four points in the third and winning the contest by a margin of 85. For more stats and stories, visit chronum.com.